happy Saturday, everyone. You're watching another episode of Blank Canvas. I'm the voice behind the camera. My name's Erica. And today we have Frank on, who's our artist. And what are you painting today, Frank? I'm going to be working on a floral abstract painting. OK. Uh, it's going to be something very colorful and urban. Got it. So hope you enjoy it. So everyone who's uh, coming in, let us know where you're watching from today. Say hello to Frank, who's our artist. And if you have any comments or questions for him, put them in the, in the comment box. We want to hear them, and we want him to answer them for you. I'm just going to dye the canvas here for now. And I can start. So do you usually do this like you'll write on it? Yeah. First? Um, okay. I don't know when I started doing that, but for the longest I've been just writing on the canvas and then I work from there. Um, and then everything that ends up is shapes and things, and from that I can draw into what I want to do. You know, in this case, um, I'm just sort of dying the canvas so there's like depth and there's like lines in the back. I'm um, very influenced by, uh, you know, the city and how like the urban surroundings look the walls and the torn up ads. So that usually uh, really inspires like, the work that I do and how my paintings start out. Cool. We already have a, uh, a lot of people who are joining in with us today. Uh, we have Sherry that says hello. Hi, Sherry. <laughs> we have Maureen who says, hi, Frank. I'm hi. in Springfield, Oregon. Hi, Maureen. Thanks for <laughs> tuning in. Uh, we have an, a Cheryl from Ohio. Hi, Cheryl. Tanya saying hello from California. I'm pretty sure it's probably beautiful out there today, right? We're not getting some bad weather here in New York City, right? Not at all. 80 degrees today. Carolyn says um, she's in Granada Hills. And uh, we have someone else saying, Jana saying hi from sunny California. We have a few people hi, from Jen. California watching today. Oh, we have Sherry saying hello from Vegas. Vegas. Yes. Emily saying happy Saturday. Happy Saturday, Emily. <laughs> so Frank, we obviously have uh, quite a few people who are starting to, to join in right now. Um, can you talk to them about what you're working on today and, and what inspired you to, to do this? Sure, I'm working on a floral painting. Uh, it's going to be abstract, uh, or abstracted rather, semi-abstract. Um, and I like working with palette knives. I, I barely use brushes, only to uh, just do like the main uh, dyeing of the canvas or the outlines. But my main uh, way of working is with uh, the use of palette knives and allowing the materials also to do uh, what they do, you know, just allow the paints to have like sort of like uh, a way of, of sort of dictating how they want to go in a sense. Okay. Uh, and what medium are you using today? I'm using acrylics. Uh, I work with acrylic paints and um, I also use uh, acrylic markers, and, oh, okay. uh, which I really love. I, I picked them up by chance and I got really hooked on working with them. <laughs> Have you ever used any other medium, even though this is the one that you uh, I tried before? oils in the past, but it, it just wasn't uh, very good for painting inside an apartment, you know. Uh, my studio is at home, so. But that was many years ago. And then acrylic just became sort of like a medium that, that worked better for me, you know, to work in. Uh, so we have Emily who said, it looked like he painted over some writing. So can you explain what you did first for anybody who was just coming into it? Yes, I uh, actually start out with um, ink uh, pencils. They okay. work very much like watercolor pencils. These are great though. And uh, I start sometimes with a quote, sometimes with just some text that comes to mind. I wrote, the canvas is darkness, we bring our light to it Okay. in this one. And then uh, from there, I just dye the canvas with uh, water and white paint. And then um, I started to paint, which is what I'm trying to do now. And then we'll see where, where this all goes. Uh, 
I start with these basic flowers right now, but uh, I'm gonna try and uh, do something that's gonna change in a bit. It doesn't necessarily stay the way it looks. Okay. Uh, Frank, how long have you been, been painting? Are you self-taught? Did you go to school? I'm self-taught. Uh, I've done workshops here and there, but uh, I'm self-taught for the most part. And I started painting uh, in like 97, 96. Well, we still have a lot of people coming in from different places. We have Joyce saying shout out from Peoria, Illinois. Joyce, shout out to you. <laughs> uh, we have Astrid saying hi from Oslo, Norway. Wow. Yes. And uh, Lisa saying hello from Insel, uh, Deutschland. Hi, Lisa. <laughs> Everybody's so nice. That's nice. We have Jenny saying hi from Minnesota. Hi, Jenny. <laughs> and uh, Lulu is asking, are those flowers? These are flowers, for now. For now, for now, yes. Uh, anyone who's just joining us, Frank is our artist on Blank Canvas today. Uh, and if you want to follow him on Instagram or see any of his other work, please do so. You'll see that his information will pop up periodically throughout the show. Check out his other stuff. Show him some love. And uh, I mean, it, I can't remember. Is your is your page public? Uh, my on Instagram. Yes, it is. Okay, so uh, a lot of artists out there, they always love when they see an artist on blank canvas. Um, they'll follow them on Instagram, but sometimes they'll tag them in their own work. So is that is that okay if someone tags you? So you That's can see fantastic. Give the shout out. Say hello. Yeah. Love it. We got Candy saying hello from the Philippines. Hi, Candy. Mm -hmm. And uh, Irene saying hello from Hungary. Hi, Irene. Thanks for watching. Yes. Everyone who's tuning in right now, no matter where you're tuning in from, we are so appreciative of you tuning into Blank Canvas and watching our artist, Frank, just working on a masterpiece, basically. <laughs> so, And if we have any artists out there today who are watching, let us know um, if you have any inspiration, what you like to paint, draw, sketch, and what mediums do you like to use. So Frank, when did you, I guess, discover, first discover that this was something that you really loved to do? You know, I always do, I, I do remember myself always like doing little drawings and doodling, never necessarily thinking, you know, I'm gonna be an artist, but it just got um, really strong in, in like my mid twenties when I, you know, just discovered that it was a different way of, of not necessarily expressing, but also like exploring things, you know, exploring, uh, emotions, feelings, and, and then uh, also I appreciated uh, other art and how, you know, it was kind of like something that you can do alone, you know, on your own, and it's kind of like your own words, if you will, your own feelings, you know. Cool. Uh, we have um, Renee, or Rena, excuse me, I'm sorry. How long have you been painting for? Uh, since... 96, so I guess that's, what, 20 years? Oh, wow, 20, okay. Yeah. 20 years, okay, I count that right? Yeah. Justin says, wow, he works pretty fast. Yeah. Yeah, there's so a lot. Start with a blank canvas a lot. it's still going. <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot to do, that's why. Yeah. Uh, Sharon have... says, just beautiful. I just want to paint watching from Southwest Texas. Thank you, thank you so much. Shauna says, hi, from Norman Wells in Canada. It looks good. Thank you. Ooh, we have Mylene saying bonjour from Paris. Bonjour, merci. Mm -hmm. Beaucoup. Uh, we have Marty saying uh, hello from Vail, Arizona, and Yolanda saying hi from Puerto Rico. Hola, Yolanda. Mm -hmm. And Barbara says, great, love your work. She, sends you, she sent three hearts and says hello from Rochester. Thank you. <laughs> Aww. Alicia says hello from my hospital room in Vancouver, Washington. I hope that you're feeling better by watching the show. Hello, so. get well. Yes, get well. I'm glad that you're watching though. Thank you. Wow, you have people coming in from the UK, Tennessee, Canada, Texas, California, and Belgium. That's and pretty awesome. You're getting a lot of hearts and thumbs up. I like I love when people are so positive 
in the comments and they just like are sending so much love so make sure you guys continue to do that throughout the show and if you have any questions for Frank about his work how long he's been an artist any of his inspiration put that in the comments so that I can ask him for you uh, is there any particular way that you go about picking the colors that you use no it's I, I work very intuitively you know um, I know it might sound a little cliche but I think that the work and, and, and like what you're working on kind of asks in a way for, for what you know you should be doing next so it's just I don't know the only way I can explain it is that it's very intuitive you know like this you know suddenly I was working on that and I didn't think that I was going to end up using the blue um, obviously I use I keep as much material as possible you know, yeah. in order to to do that but uh, yeah so I, I didn't have a preset, and and you know the flowers in this case they're red, but they don't have to be red. You know I don't have to be very little, little. I can say that little about the work, yeah. but um yeah. Uh, Cheryl says I would love to learn to paint. Do you feel like that's just something that if someone wants to do it, just go ahead? And like, what advice would you give to someone who's like I really want to learn how to paint? Uh, I think just start, just start. I think. Everybody uh, can definitely take a whack at, at painting, you know. Um, making art is a different story, you know, and uh, I think that that's one thing to keep in mind. Uh, but uh, I think any, anybody should definitely follow that. Uh, in Spanish, they say inquietud, you know, which is yeah. like that thing that, that is with you and that sort of, uh, it becomes like when you really have the, 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 the will to, to do something like this, you know. It becomes kind of like a rock in the shoe that if you don't experiment, even if you put it, don't you know, end up putting it down, it's worth experimenting and, and, and doing it, you know, going after it. So we have Danita who says, "Thank you for showing us that anyone can paint if they allow themselves to be um, to be free with their art." I think that's the biggest part that you know art has offered, just the freedom to 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 create and to to be yourself, you know, to to express yourself, but also to be. Uh, you know, whoever you want to portray in your work as well, because it, it, I think something in you transcends, in, in, from you transcends in your work, the work that you do. Uh, we have Barbara who says, I was never able to master using a palette knife. I think I must be too detail oriented, lol. That doesn't mean I can't enjoy your talent, however, beautiful and with a smiley face. Awesome. Yeah, I, um, the way I use palette knives is, is kind of unconventional. It's not necessarily m m m mixing paint on the canvas together but rather using it as a pen or as a, as a, as a brush in, in itself so you know I, I um, just kind of started working that way and it, it works for me there's just like an edge to it when you do it that way you know? uh, we have um, Lulu saying so calming uh, uh, to watching to watch this after a busy day with two kids so yeah we're I glad appreciate that, like, that. We, that Frank can do something that's like making you feel much better and just relaxing you. Frank, you said that you have a two-year-old. Yes. So, have, I mean, do you paint with your two-year-old? Are you teaching he's, him? He's been in the studio since he's a newborn, actually. Oh, wow. And uh, he he uh, he kind of gets the hang, not the hang, but he, he understands what it is that I do in, a, in an interesting way. Like, I thought it would be something that, but he, you know, he understands that it's painting, that, it, that, that it's work, and he joins me. Like, he... Uh, he comes in the studio with me and he puts up, it's really cute, he puts up his own paper, <laughs> grabs the tape, because I used to tape uh, paper yeah. for him on, the, on, on my studio wall, and he just now goes looks for the tape. And uh, it's amazing how immediately, or how soon rather, uh, he started not settling for the crayons and going for actual paints. Oh, wow. Know? Like he just didn't want to use the crayons anymore. That like I father, like son. Yeah, yeah, so it, it's pretty cool. We have Debbie saying hello from Guyana. Hi, Debbie. And, uh, oh, um, Tom says, I'm a frustrated artist. Tom, why are you a frustrated artist? Tell us, maybe Frank has some advice for you. <laughs> Have you ever felt frustrated with your work? No, because I, you know, I think, um, I don't feel frustrated with the work. I mean, you have the moments where you don't know, you know what you're going to do next. or But discipline is really important. I'm in the studio every day. I try to be in the studio every day. And uh, you know, with that, when you make sure and when you decide that it is work that you're gonna do and that it's not a hobby, then things change because it's just kind of like, you know, 
Maybe I need a break. Maybe yeah. I need to uh, not do, maybe I need to walk away from the world. So um, frustration is an inter interesting thing in that you know you, you need to sort of find out what it is that you're frustrated about. But if if what I think he's saying is that he hasn't painted in a while or would like to do it and just you know hasn't found a way, I think he should just start. Yeah. Uh, oh, well, Cindy wants to know how old are you? <laughs> I'm 44. You look really good. Thank you. Uh, you're aging very well. I drink so. water. No, I'm kidding. I don't know. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. I just Blanca says, wow. So she clearly likes what you got going on there. Thank you, Blanca. And Tandy says, I love the yellow. Thank you. It's giving me that springtime, summery feel. Yeah, it's a little warm in the city, so I wanted to do something, you know, springy though. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Maria says hello from New York City. So we have Hi, some Maria. A New Yorker in the house. NYC in the house. Uh, Jenny, who says, so is this live in Texas? Um, well, it's live to anywhere from where anyone's watching, but we are at the Little Thing Studio here in New York City. But anyone can watch. And. Speaking of that, anyone who is watching, thank you very much for tuning in today. We always appreciate the comments, the questions, the love, the hearts, the thumbs up, the smiley faces. So keep sending them over for Frank. And if you want to follow Frank on Instagram, his information's up. Uh, you can follow him. You can check out his other work. If you have any questions about it, feel free to send him a message. Um, and if there's anything you want to do, like, hey, collaborate, commission, info work, go, go for it. He's open to it. Definitely. Visit the yes. shop. <laughs> Cheryl has a good question. Where do you start when trying to paint? Well, um, I think it, it's important to study, you know, and I, I think a lot of it I learned from looking at other artists. And my, my advice to people is to go see art. Go see a ton of art if what you want to do is starting to paint. And then it's, it's going to be eye-opening for you. It's going to allow you to um, it's either going to excite you to the point where you're like, I have to do this, I have yeah. to do this, you know, or in a sense, discourage you. But I think that's the beauty of it, you know, it, it, it's going to really, really motivate you into doing. But I think seeing a lot of art, getting involved with a lot of people who are working in the field that you do. And I think that's with any art, you know, you should just get involved with people that are doing the things that you want to do. You know? I think that's important. We, we have uh, Jackie saying hello from Port Elizabeth, South Africa. Hi, Jackie. And, uh, oh, Imelda says, hello, Frank. I'm watching from Dubai. Simple but beautiful. Thank you. Yes. I agree. I don't have much time, so I got to keep it simple. <laughs> no, don't worry. You still got about like 20 minutes left. <laughs> um, oh, Jennifer says, it's going to be beautiful. I can already tell. You're amazing. Thank you. You're getting a lot of hearts flying across this screen, Frank. The flowers get you hard. <laughs> uh, Maureen says, love the freedom of this picture. Hello from Bethany Beach, Delaware. Thank you, Maureen. So a lot of people are saying that it kind of looks like graffiti art. I am very influenced by, by um, by street art yeah. in, in that, but I'm not a street artist, so I, I'm always very careful, you know, to not take props away from the street artists that I admire, but uh, it is, it, it's, I call it urban expressionism because it's, you know, it's very New York, it's very like, but it's very influenced on walls around the city. So yeah, I, I do agree with that fact that it's uh, influencing graffiti, but also, you know, ancient uh, text and uh, like pyramid writing or drawings. You know, and uh, it's funny, like, a lot of people say, you know, always like graffiti. It's like, you're a graffiti artist, and I'm, I'm not, actually. But I'm very influenced by the New York backdrop, I would say. Oh, uh, Kay wants to know, is there a certain brand of paint you would buy for a beginning artist? Um, I recommend studio paints. Uh, I, you know, if you have a Blick in your city, they're, they have great studio paints, which are for students. They're affordable, they're great, they have great viscosity. Um, I know stores like Michael's also have developed a good brand of, of, of carrying a good brand of paint, you know. 
Tom. But to start, yeah, you can start with a good uh, line of studio paints that are available even online. So this is break it, make it, deface it, and then make it again. Uh, Tom said he was a frustrated artist earlier. He said the reason why he gets frustrated is because he gets too hung up on details. So do you have any advice for that? You can do that, deny the detail. Deny the detail and allow the work to sort of guide you. I, I, I know it sounds weird to say that, but it, it, the work really speaks to you. A lot of time we, we need to walk away from the idea and walk away even from the work, you know what I mean? So, um, I wanna turn this around too. Oh, cool, yeah, okay. So yeah, so you need to definitely, um, you know, get away from, from trying to uh, to go after something and just allow the, the work to also do, do its thing, you know, um, which, it, which you'll find out what it is that, that it wants from you. Oh, Wayne says, your use of colors is the key. I the like use that. of color, yeah. Yeah, I mean, use of color, yeah. Eventually, you do develop your own uh, way of working and the, the work that you start to use. Um, but yeah, my colors are, are pretty bright, actually. And these, these colors that you guys picked today are fantastic. I love this work. Uh, Mary says, love this. Lots of movement, dynamic and fun is how she feels about this. Thank you. Uh, that's exactly what uh, my work. It's very vibrant and it's very. There's a lot of rhythm and a lot of movement. In it. So she nailed it. Uh, Julie says it's thunderstorming here. Flowers are so welcome. Julie, where is it thunderstorming? Where are you from? But uh, we're glad that you like these flowers. Thanks, Julie. <laughs> we have Autumn saying hello from uh, Georgia. Hi, Autumn. Elizabeth saying hello from Wisconsin. Hi, Elizabeth. Thank mm -hmm. you. Oh, and Tracy says, Southern California thinks your work is very nice. Thank you so much. Shout out to Southern California. Sherry says she thinks your work is very pretty. Terry says, painting is so fulfilling. Do you feel that way? Absolutely. Painting has definitely fulfilled my uh, life and has been my good friend in many moments in my life, actually. So, yeah, I, I do agree with that. Oh, Kelly says... Art is a process. Exciting to see where this goes. Details, lots of details. Lots of details. Yes. Cheryl said you're a wonderful artist. Thank you. Thank you, Cheryl. Um, Frank is our artist today on Blank Canvas, and uh, so you're saying this is like acrylic paint and abstract art, right? Yep. I want to get this, this is, right for you. Maybe you could explain a little bit to everyone I, who's just tuning in and why is, uh, you chose to do this. Uh, I think it would be, you know, because of the time constraint that we have, rather how long I wanted to do something that would be a little uh, easier to execute, you know. So I work with, you know, a way that I'm not attached to the work, you know. Uh, I go, oh, that looks great, so I'm gonna leave it. You know, I just go with whatever it is that, that I wanna go. And uh, then you sort of arrive at, at finishing the work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. Maureen says I love it and sending a smiley face. <laughs> Thank you, Maureen. Nicole says hola from Miami. Hola, <laughs> Miami. Yes. <laughs> Anna War says, Frank, can you send that to me before anybody on here is a will ask for it? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. I like that. All right. I, I was going to take first dibs on it since I'm in the studio with you, but sure. I guess Anna War's got it first. Um, so, uh, 
uh, for anyone who might have missed it before, are you self-taught? Did you go to school? How did, how did this come about that you found this talent? Uh, I'm self-taught. I started drawing, uh, you know, I've been drawing all my life, but um, it wasn't until my mid-20s that I started feeling this, like, need that just kind of uh, took over, you know, where I started, like, experimenting with watercolors and, and you know, I, I would actually throw them away after I worked with them. And then one day I went to the museum, I saw the museums, and I saw a Jackson Pollock painting uh, at the Met. And when I saw that thing, I was like, oh my God, this is, this is it. This is what I, this is what I have to do. You know, this is, I, I just found that so incredibly amazing that, that the way that Pollock painted and also how he practically threw himself into his work, you know? Yeah. And uh, it, I was never the same after seeing that. And just started from there, started painting. Which is why I said before, you should go see art, because art, there's gonna be one dude that, uh, one painter, rather, you know, because I love, like, Joan Mitchell as well. Yeah. Who, who, uh, who's gonna, like, just inspire you, and, and, and you know, like, their, their work is gonna just grab you and, and, and make you look and make you feel things that you, you know, you didn't even know. Hmm. We have uh, Mary who says fireworks. That's what it looks like. And you have fireworks coming off the canvas. I like fireworks. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Emily says hydrangeas are my favorite. She's talking <laughs> about the flowers she likes. Uh, and Julie said something really cool. She said, I love the way you turned the project upside down and created designs from that perspective, too. This is unique, and I would love to own it. Hello from us. We go, Illinois. You know what? Everyone's taking claims on my painting. No, <laughs> no everyone. Yeah, I, I totally see where you're coming from. This is really beautiful. Um, you know, quite a few artists will tell you that the way of you know, the reason why we turn paintings around and that I, I, this is more of a style of painting because yeah. I paint around it, but uh, it's to also let you see. It's almost like mirror checking. Got so it. It, you're looking at it from a different perspective. Like if I turned it around again, you're gonna see things that you didn't notice were were there. Got it. Yeah. And you know, so that that's what happens. Well, to anyone who does want to see uh, Frank's work, his Instagram um, will periodically pop up. It's a public page. So even if you don't have Instagram, you can still find his page and you can still look at his work. You can admire the pieces. Uh, try to get this one. I'm trying to fight for this one right now, but uh, I think I've got a few people in the, in the comments who might win it before me. Um, but yeah, if you want to see the rest of his work, you know, uh, ask him some questions or commission him for a painting or is there something you want to buy, let him know. Follow him on Instagram, and like I said, his page is public, so you don't have to have an Instagram in order to see his work. Uh, Jenny says, love, love, love this. So you got three loves in Thank there. you, Jenny. <laughs> uh, oh, man, I just missed it, but someone called it explosive. Darlene, Darlene said it's explosive. And Melanie says, just when I think he couldn't make it more beautiful, he adds another detail that proves me wrong. Love it from Southern Mississippi. Thanks so much, that means a lot. So I, for a sec, I lost it and didn't know where I was going. But. Oh, but we're, hey. See, we, I'm not meaning something. We didn't something even know that. that, we didn't even know that. Yeah. We just love it, we just love what you're doing. Emily says she's following you now on Instagram. All right. Martha says, that is beautiful. Gail says, this is so beautiful, saying hello from North Carolina. Thank you, Gail. And Jenny says, just keeps getting more and more beautiful. So, yeah, I like that. So everyone out there, this is Frank, he's our artist today on Blank Canvas. Uh, he's using acrylics to paint, and this is abstract art. He's got something really beautiful going on here. Sometimes you don't, I didn't really know where it was going at first, and then I started to see like all of the different elements, and I'm, I'm really amazed. Thank you, Thank uh, you. Jana says, very relaxing. And, oh, Deanna says, now I see why the black lines in between each flower, I uh, see the black lines. Um, what's so important, it's beautiful. <laughs> Bonnie says, pops right off the canvas. Selection of colors is superb. And she wrote that in capital letters. Thank so you. So she means it. Uh, oh, Pat says dibs. Everybody's calling dibs on this painting. Uh, they want your painting. Cheryl wants to know, do you sell your artwork and how much I would love to buy? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, I, have a, I have my website. Um, I have a, a shop. Uh, also through my website where you guys can find flowers and also prints, you know, to make them available to people from all walks of life. So I think it's important to, to do that, uh, to be able to just make your art accessible, you know, no matter the price through, through prints in this case, which 
my and flowers. And the link to your website is on your Instagram, correct? It's on my Instagram, okay. yes. And then they will see uh, the the they will see my my portfolio, and also they will see uh, the link for shop. And please visit and check it out. And thank you for supporting yes. living ar living artists. So. Yes, thank you everyone who's watching and showing support and sending hearts and thumbs up and you know asking questions and making comments. We love this. Um, now Vicky's saying, I want the painting. Does Frank come with it? <laughs> Vicky, I think he's going to get sorry. the painting. Yeah, 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 he's taken. Oh, Vicky. But hopefully you can get your hands on some of his art. Sorry, I put my hand in front of the painting. See, and then you start to see things and, and details. And, yeah. Um, Uh, Jennifer says it, that she's giving you props for being vulnerable and sharing your art with the world. Yeah, this is probably one of the... the, the I, I'm always painting uh, live on, on, on social media, but it's kind of like a quiet thing. Definitely not this kind of a platform. So yeah. this is the toughest thing I've had to do, but I, I appreciate everybody being so supportive of this. That's, and we appreciate you coming on the fantastic. show today, of course. Thank you. Uh, Mike says, I love the way you layered your painting. Very cool. Thank you so much. <laughs> Lulu said, how do you manage to paint with a toddler about, I can barely sleep, but my toddler jumps on me, LOL. <laughs> That's because his toddler is into the painting as well. And then you wait till he falls asleep yes. to, to try and get a, a couple, you know, uh, a, a little bit of painting done. Yeah. We have, uh, Melanie, who said, so cool. Thank you, Melanie. Darlene, who says, loving this. Oh, a lot of people are commenting on the colors. They really are. Saying, love the colors, um, love the choice that you decided to make. Martha says, nice colors. Well, Diana they says, in love. They have to give a shout out to whoever went and got the, the That the was blues. us, that little thing. So, yeah, <laughs> so you, gotta, you definitely have to give them props for that. Thank you very much. We did pick those colors, but we didn't make it come to life like you like you have, so we only did a little bit of the work. So is there has there ever been a piece that you've worked on where you just couldn't finish it? Uh Does that ever happen to yeah, you? I think so. I mean, but uh, it, I think eventually, you know, you, you just kind of finish pieces. Like you can put them away, and uh, I mean, I, I've learned to sort of walk away from the work. I think it's important to do that as well. You know, so um, after that, you just kind of put them away and then go back to them whenever, whenever you can. You know. Oh, we have Jenny saying hello from Bristol, UK. Hello, Jenny. UK watching. Is it me or a lot of Jennies today? I feel yeah. Like, I feel like there's been a quite We have a, a lot of Jennies. We have a lot of Marthas, Cheryl, Sherry's. Yeah, just everyone. But you know what? We're totally happy. I want to <laughs> thank all the Jennies out there. Yeah, all the Jennies. And everybody else. All course. the Jennies, all the Marthas, everyone who's watching. Oh, Sylvia said, I shared this with my friends. Love your work. Thank uh, you. Watching from El Paso, Texas. Thank you, Thank Sylvia. you. Hello, El Paso. Mm. Cheryl said, I'm definitely going to get art supplies so I can find my knack in painting. Yes, go for do it. it, right? Go for you gotta it. You got to start somewhere. So go, go to whatever craft store you have out there, wherever you live. Go pick up some paint, some brushes, a palette knife, a canvas. Just go and like do that. And, and whatever it is that you start, you start with first. I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be whatever comes from your art, your heart and imagination. Uh, someone's asked, uh, Lou's asking, what's your favorite food? <laughs> My favorite food? Yeah. Oh, I, I wasn't expecting that. I, I don't know, pizza maybe? Probably pizza. You yeah, pizza? Probably. Pizza and pasta. Pizza and pasta. Uh, Radhika says, love the details, watching from Dubai. Thank you, Radhika. And Julie says, no brush, spatula and pens only? Mostly. Julie, that's just how I pictured you saying it. Yeah. 
Mostly pocket knives, yeah. Okay. All right. Oh, Elizabeth says, my current favorite of yours is They Gave a Man a Fish. Love it. Thank you so much for that. Really That's a cool. really cool painting, actually. I like that. Um, I, 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 I'm flattered that people are actually looking at the work. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, Darlene, to answer your question, you asked, did he use a brush at all? No, he did not. He's using his palette knife, and you said the other ones were like water markers? What were they called? Uh, the other ones are, are acrylic markers. Acrylic markers. I highly recommend them, you know, especially the people that want to start out. They're really cool because it's like you're drawing, and before you know it, before you know it you're actually painting. So yeah. I definitely recommend them to anyone who wants to. Deanna says St. Louis in the house. St. Louis. <laughs> So outside of you know uh, the flowers and is there any what else do you, is there anything that you really love to to work on like um, do you only use like do you like flowers do you have like a specific thing that you're like that's my go to it's something that I really love to do no you know the flowers came about uh, a few years back and uh, it, it's just something that it was it, it was kind of weird because it was something that you know why do I want to paint flowers but you know. That's the cool thing about having artist friends. We're like, just do what, you know, whatever it is that's coming up. My art is mostly, uh, I think, in essence, I'm an abstract painter, you know? Uh, and, uh, like, they gave a man a fish, for example, has motifs of, of like, yeah. actual figures and stuff, but it's not like this work. It's a lot, it's more, it's raw, and it's, you know, very in your face, and it has all of these uh, elements, but it's not flowery, you know? Um, so my, my work, at essence, you know, like my, my the work that I do is uh, cultural commentary and also uh, in, in its urban expressionism, as I call it. And I call this textification, which started out as a joke. It's, if you think about it, it's all text, you know, it's, it's like yeah. everything that I've been doing is, it's actually writing in a sense. So, um, yeah, but my, my work, in essence, has uh, this quality of, of, uh, of, of writing, you know. We have, what do I do uh, with the paint? We have what? Luisa saying, love the purple. Deanna saying, art is a blessing, it teaches patience. Definitely. Uh, Kay says, yeah. I love the painting with a pen idea. Uh, I just had a really good one up here. Oh, Bernie says, love it. The painting is totally amazing. Thank you. Thank you, Bernie. And Ali Dali's. I hope I'm saying this right. Uh, love your Don Quixote painting and congrats on having it in an exhibit at a museum. Thank you, Don Quixote. It's a, a painting that I that I did for uh, a contest. Yeah. It didn't win, but it ended up uh, getting the interest of, of other people that wanted to use it for like a Latin American exhibit. So, you know, it was a it's an interesting thing. Like that, that's. That's kind of the gift of art, you know, that your own art and your work can, can give you. Yeah. You know, where, where your art ends up. <laughs> Justin said, I prefer to paint on a computer because I'm sure I'll make a mess with real paint. Oh, definitely. Yeah. That's, a, that's a good way to go. Yeah, I, um, I make quite a mess. We got a lot of hearts coming through. People are loving this. That's awesome. Kay says, oh my God, this artwork is turning out amazing. Thank yes. you. Uh, what's the largest piece to date that you've worked on? Um, no. Something about eight feet. By, wow. Yeah, about eight feet by, uh, I've done a mural, so I've done like a wall in the past. Okay. Um, but yeah, and that was humongous. But I would say no larger than eight feet by like six feet, so like the size of this wall in the studio in the back here. This is my snack box here. <laughs> oh, Kelly asks, do you always turn your painting in the process? Yes, all the time. I just, it's just the way I work. 
And explain it, explain it again what, why you call it a mirror, or you said it's like a mirror for you? It's sort of like, you know, you have this, your brain shifts and it starts looking at things that it didn't, like you see that detail that I saw? Like right there? I, I wasn't paying attention to that at all, but for whatever reason, when you turn it around, it just became a little more obvious to me. And then, you know, you just felt like, like you needed something. So uh, that's really the, the technique behind it. You know? And actually, when you think a work is completed, it's always good to take a look with it or use a mirror. You know? Look at the mirror and, and look at the painting. And it's amazing. More like you're going to be surprised with how much you, you look uh, at things differently, you know? So it just, it's just changing perspective and you know, composition completely so uh, we have um, Melissa saying uh, Frank do you ever go back to finished art and add anything else to it uh, no not not recently I used to do that now I, I actually don't uh, put a painting away until I know for sure that it's that it's completed you know so in 20 I, I can't look at old art you know, in 2014, uh, a five alarm fire, we we lost everything in, in my oh, wow. and I lost my work, my life's work actually. I'm sorry so, to hear that. Yeah, but I mean it, it's amazing that you know how how one one day like things can change completely, you know. But uh, that that's part of the growth as an artist too, you know. Like I, I never imagined that like, I would be missing my my life's work, you know, um, to something like that. So, yeah, I have no way of going back to check that old work in order to. Well, we have two things about your tattoos. <laughs> Cheryl oh. says, I love your art and tattoos. Thank and you. And Justin wants to know, did you design your own tattoos? Uh, I designed a couple of them. Um, and uh, it, they're very influenced by Mayan, Mayan culture and uh, Aztec. And um, yes, I've, I've not... I wouldn't say design, just kind of edited some of the things and, and some of the, the work that I've seen from pyramids and things like that, so. Uh, Mary says, I'm gonna try painting upside down. Definitely, try it. <laughs> and uh, Serena says, I lost my home in a fire last year. Sorry to hear that. So she sorry says, sorry that. that she knows you're lost. She, so sorry for you. Yeah, she understands, man, because it, it, you know, only people who that that's happened to, a lot, I hear a lot of, I can never imagine that, you know what I mean? When yeah. I met people that that's happened to, now I'm like, oh, I, I totally understand how how you feel about that, you know, because it, it, took, it took a while to even process the whole thing for me, you know? Uh, for Kimberly, uh, who's asking, is he using pastel pencils? He's using acrylic markers. Oh, never mind, Darlene already answered it. Thank you, Darlene. Darlene is I like on when it. We're a team. I like when we're all a team, guys. <laughs> oh, Joan wants to know: Do you now take pictures of all your work to preserve it? I always did. I always documented my work. Uh, that's one thing that I that I did. That you know, um, I was glad I did because I definitely um, preserved the, the the imagery. You know, in order to so, and I still do. Kelly said it's totally popping now. It's popping, yeah. <laughs> I love the colors. Oh, we have a ton of people sending hearts and love. Um, so to everyone who watched today, this is our artist, Frank. Um, he, he did an amazing job today. I, I wish we really had more time. Like, this is so beautiful. Um, when this is, like, fully done, it, whatever else you need to add to it, will you promise to put it up on your Instagram page so everyone can see it? Absolutely. All right. Absolutely. Uh, I, I really would love to see. How much time do we have? We're done? Uh, yeah, but um, keep I going. Think, Don't right. stop. Keep going. I, I really don't want to like end the show. Uh, but everyone who watched today, thank you so much. Thank you to everyone who commented, asked questions, sent love. Um, it's so appreciated. You have no idea. Uh, thank you, Frank, for being on today. My pleasure. You thank you for inviting so me. You are so awesome. I, I'm sure the audience would agree with me. We'd love to have you back someday. I would love to. And uh, for anyone who wants more Blank Canvas, we're on Sundays as well.
with a new artist and it's 12 p.m. Eastern time on Sundays and on Saturdays it's 3 p.m. Eastern time. So tune in tomorrow so you can see who tomorrow's uh, artist is and um, you can send your comments and questions to them as well. But I hope everyone has a beautiful Saturday and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.